Hello, and welcome to the Bartender Page Setup video tutorial. Let's begin by starting a new label format. If you have an existing label you would like to use as a template, you can do so with the existing label format button. The blank label format option is already selected. Click the next button below to continue. Here you can see a list of installed printers. Note the document and printer properties on the right hand side of the wizard. Any changes made in the document properties are specific to this label format, while changes made in printer properties affect all labels that use this printer. You'll notice that the default printer is already selected. I'm going to pick a different printer for this label. Select your printer and click Next. Here you have the option to specify a custom size for your label, or you may choose from a list of popular, predefined stocks. For this label, Choose Specify Custom Settings and click Next to continue. If you are using a stock with multiple labels per sheet, like those used in laser printers, you could select the number of columns and rows at this point. For now, choose Single Labels and click Next. Most labels use a thin paper backing to hold the labels together. This results in an unused portion of paper outside the label that will not be printed on. By clicking on the left and right boxes, you can see small arrows showing where the adjustment will be made. The default of 1 20th of an inch or 1.27 millimeters is already selected. Click Next to continue. Here you see four different shapes to choose from. Most labels used in thermal printers feature a rounded rectangle design. Select the shape of the label you are using and click Next to continue. In this window, you can define the width and height of your label. Be sure to indicate the size of your label, not including the gaps between labels or the unused paper on the sides. You can also change how the label exits the printer with the orientation setting. Once you've made your choices, select Next to proceed. Your choices are now displayed for final review before clicking Finish. If everything looks correct, click Finish to create your label. If you want to change a decision you made during the new label format wizard, you can change your label using Page Setup at any time. There are several ways to reach Page Setup. You can double click on your label, click once on the Page Setup button in the toolbar, or you can go to the File menu and select Page Setup. Here in the Page tab, you can make changes to the page size or orientation of your label. Using the Layout tab, you can modify the number of rows and columns in use and make changes to your margins. There are also tabs for modifying the shape of your label or adding a border. If your label requires a background, or if you have a picture of a pre-printed label you would like to use as a guide, you can add that in the Background tab located at the top right. Choose OK at the bottom of the window when you are finished making your changes to see them take effect. Thank you for watching.